Hello friends, Hal here. We are going to teach you green sleeves today. This is Quail Studios Guitar, glad you could be here. Now I can do it on my acoustic guitar, my uh, steel string acoustic, I can do it on my nylon string classical guitar, and I can play it on my electric guitar. We could even put distortion on. Let's teach this to you on my electric guitar. It's got a nice clean sound and you'll be able to see it pretty well. What's happening here is that green sleeves right, is a very traditional English folk song. It comes from about 500 years ago. The melody is very familiar. If you play this for just about anybody, even little children, they'll know what it is. In the 1800s, this was arranged as a Christmas song called, What Child Is This? Right? And so it's very familiar. It's the same kind of thing. The melody is the same, except in What Child Is This? They use the melodic minor scale instead of the natural minor scale. It sounds more period, if you want to know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, it sounds like it came from 500 years ago. I like it that way, so we're going to do it that way. This is my arrangement, by the way, and you can find it in the description below. Well, links to it. Um, they're on my website, and they're also over at Patreon. Let's do the chords first. We have an A minor chord, just a regular A minor. G with the B bass, C chord, E minor, A minor, F. It's a little different. This is like a bar chord, but it's not really a bar chord, and I'll explain it in a second. And an E chord. Okay, so let's do it in detail. A minor first. We have our first finger on the second string first fret. Our second and third fingers are on the, well, our third finger is on the G string second fret. Our Second finger is on the D string, so you have it in this position right here. And then we have a G with a B bass. And I don't play the low E string, and I don't play the high E string. We leave those off. We're playing the four inside strings. Okay? Second fret, A string with the first finger. And then with the third finger, I'm playing the B string, second string, up, third fret. D string is open, G string is open, B string is on the third fret. And then we go to a C chord, regular C chord. Okay, you know the C chord, right? First finger, second string, first fret. The G string is open, second finger is the fourth string, second fret, third finger is the fifth string, third fret. Then we go to G with a B bass again. And then we have E minor. Okay, I do it like this because the next chord is going to be A minor. And here's my E minor. And here's my A minor. So that's the easiest way. Instead of going like this and then flipping it, right, I'm just playing with the second finger and the third finger. So the second finger is on the A string, second fret. The third finger is on the D string, second fret, looks like this. Open E, second fret A, second fret D, open G, open B, open E. To A minor, you just bring these two fingers down the neck like that. Put this finger on the first fret, second string. You don't play the E string, that is muted. And then we go to what I call an F chord. It's not a bar chord, it's not that. I've actually got my finger up off the neck and I'm playing the low E string. So I don't have it down like a bar chord like this. I actually have it up and I'm not playing my E string and my B string. Okay, I'm not playing those two. Okay, and I'm only playing the low strings, the low four. 
first fret, E string. Second finger goes on the third string, second fret. Third finger is on the fifth string, third fret. The fourth finger is on the fourth string, third fret, like that. And then we go to E minor. Let's see, and I'll explain how we do this with the repeats and everything. But the last chord that we're going to learn is the E chord. Okay, so you can play all the strings if you want to. First finger is on the third string, first fret. Second finger is on the fifth string, second fret. Third finger is on the fourth string, second fret. Open E, second fret A, second fret D, first fret E, open G, uh, B, open E. Those are the chords. Now let's do the melody. Let's start with this finger, second finger. Third string, second fret, going to second string, first fret, third fret, same string, second string, open E, first fret, open E again, back to third fret, B string, open B string, and then open G string, second fret, same string, G string, open B string. So faster it looks like this. And the right hand looks like this. Now I could use one finger or a thumb Now sometimes you'll notice that I actually touch a string. Now if I don't touch the string I just came off of, then both of those notes will play at the same time, and that's okay. But sometimes it doesn't sound good. So sometimes what I do is I touch, I just touch that string, that B string so it would mute. And let's go on to the next phrase. First fret. Second fret, G string. Play it twice. Open. Back there. And then open B. Open G. Second fret, E. So the whole thing looks like this. And then we start over, we do a repeat. And then it changes, this is the second ending. First fret, B string, open, G string, second fret, and then first fret on the G string, and then I reach all the way up here to the fourth fret D string, back to first fret G string, and then twice on the second fret G string. So it goes. Now we go to page two, and we go here. Now, one of the things that's interesting about the whole Greensleeves song is that the second page is almost exactly like the first page, except the first two notes, two, three, and then from here on out, it's the same thing. Okay, and then
And then we do a repeat. Two, three. Ending. One, four, one. Second fret. Just like that. So what you need to do is you need to learn that melody just like that. You have to know exactly where it's going because when we put the chords with it, right, you've got to know where those melody notes are so that you can bring them out and don't play any notes higher than the melody because if you do then it won't sound good right and so you've got to be able to bring the notes out all right and i'll show you how to do that now what we want to do here Let's just do it with a chord, like an A minor chord. And I'll show you how to do it with just a pick or with your thumb. So with my right hand, what I do is I, I play my melody note, and then I'm holding my A minor chord, and then I strum the notes in the chord all the way up to that melody note. I don't go, I don't go to the E string because that's not the melody note. Like that. When you do that and you play the melody note as the last note, then it brings it out. You don't even have to hardly do anything else to it. G with a B bass, that's my melody note. And then I go to a C, and I can go all the way through because my melody note is here. And then we play first fret, and I hold that C chord. And then we're back to G with the B bass. Stop on the B string, the second string. Lift this finger up. Then we play E minor to the G string because that's our melody note. Second fret, open B string, A minor again. We can hold that chord while we play. Second fret, G string, and then we change to that F chord that we talked about. And we play our G string as our melody note. We're holding down on the second fret right there. And then we lift this one up. Remember how we had a little space right here? What we're, what we're going to do is we're going to play that open G string. And then we go to E minor. I'm just going to slide these two fingers down. I was in this position. I'm just going to slide those down instead of changing fingers. I'm just going to slide them down and go. I can go all the way to the B string because it's the melody note. G string, D string. That's the melody. And then we start over again. I do is I have that I go to the E chord and I'm playing that first fret and then I reach over and I go to A minor again now we're going to start page two because we just did page one now we're going to do page two and page two starts with the melody here on the third fret. And we play it with the C chord. So I like to put my little finger down just like that. Here's my C chord. So I hold the chord with these two fingers and I strum it all the way through. That's the melody. And then we go to G with the B bass. Open. 
E minor. And then I take this finger down. A minor. And then I have that F chord. And then we go to E minor. And then we start over again. C chord. G with the B bass. E minor. This finger goes up. A minor. E chord. I reach over, fourth fret, and then I do the A minor chord. So let's review. You've got the you got the melody, and then you got the chords. No. Put them together. Oops, went too far. F. Second page. Once you learn all of that, then you can start to do will be in the description also. It's a full tablature, so you have two different kinds of music. You have the melody and the chords, melody by itself, tabbed out, and the chords over the uh, voice part. And then you have um, the full tablature with all of the finger picking and stuff like that. Thanks for being here, I appreciate it. You can see me at Patreon. You can go see me at my website. <coughs> So come see us. Talk to you later. Bye.